What's up, everybody? According to Morgan Stanley's U.S. Chief Economist Ellen Zetner, housing market affordability will improve in 2024 as home prices fall and inventory rises. We expect home sales to be weak in the first half of next year, but activity should pick up in the second half and further into 2025. And that's primarily because affordability will improve, she said. While Zettner believes there will be an increase in supply of homes next year, Ivy Zellman, the chief executive of Zellman & Associates, who accurately predicted the 2008 housing crash, believes existing home sales will remain at extremely depressed levels through to 2025. Existing home sales are right now probably at the lowest since the GFC, she said in a recent interview on CNBC, referring to the great financial crisis. So I thought we should dig a little deeper to see what each one of them has said. We'll take a look at an article by Lance Lambert for Resi Club titled, Morgan Stanley, 2024 housing market is poised for an improvement in affordability that we have only seen a handful of times over the past approximate 35 years. And an article by Elena Botros for Fortune called, Housing Market Analyst Poison Ivy Zellman, who called the 2008 bust that led to the great financial crisis, sees extremely depressed levels of existing home sales for years. Both very long titles. So let's dive right in. According to Lance Lambert, Morgan Stanley sent out a 59-page report to its investors detailing their views on the U.S. economy, the housing market, and the bond market in 2024. In this report, Morgan Stanley analysts noted that the U.S. economy will avoid a recession, incomes will continue to rise, mortgage rates will decrease slightly, and U.S. housing activity will pick up a little in 2024. Despite lower rates, they expect the 10-year Treasury yield to end 2024 at 3.95% and a still resilient economy. Morgan Stanley also believes U.S. home prices will fall 3% in 2024. FYI, Lambert explains in the article that the equivalent of the 10-year Treasury yield concluding 2024 at 3.95% would mean that based on today's spread, 296 basis points, between the 10-year treasury yield and the 30-year fixed mortgage, that would result in a 6.91% mortgage rate by the end of 2024. If the spread narrowed, it would be even lower. All of this is to say that housing affordability needs three levers to improve, falling mortgage rates, rising incomes, or falling house prices. Morgan Stanley believes all three will be pulled a little in 2024. And taken together, this would create a significant improvement in housing affordability. We think we are poised for an improvement in affordability that we have only seen a handful of times over the past approximate 35 years, wrote Morgan Stanley analysts. We expect national home prices to fall modestly as housing activity picks up versus 2023, with new home sales outpacing existing sales, but think the strong fundamentals of existing homeowners will prevent sizable home price corrections. As for Ivy Zellman, she believes that housing activity, at least on the existing home side of the market, will largely remain frozen as homeowners hold onto their homes amid potential higher for longer mortgage rates. She goes on to say that in order for housing market activity to pick up, mortgage rates absolutely need to fall. We need a much further decline in rates to reignite the existing home market, she said, pointing to the lock-in effect that's kept homeowners from selling their homes in fear of losing their below-market mortgage rates for one that's potentially pushing 8% or at the very least above 7%. By her estimate, more than 80% of homeowners have a mortgage rate below 5% and almost half below 4%. But even with high mortgage rates, U.S. home prices through August, as measured by the Case-Shiller National House Price Index, are up 5.8% year to date, despite mortgage rates being at a 22-year high. 
So that raises the question, how can Morgan Stanley predict that both US home prices and mortgage rates will fall together in 2024? Let's look at the answer in Lambert's article. He reports how Morgan Stanley analysts explained the logic. The immediate response in the housing market to spiked mortgage rates has been renewed decreases in inventory, which we think provide near-term support for home prices. As rates come down throughout the year, we would expect affordability to improve and our for sale inventory to increase. Both of these developments are constructive for housing activity, but the latter provides a potential counterbalance for home prices. We expect housing activity to be stronger in the second half of the year and new home sales to increase more than existing home sales over the course of the full year, up 7.5% versus up 2.5% home prices should see modest declines as the growth in inventory offsets the increased demand. Homeowners remain strong hands and we don't expect any sizable correction in prices, but we do think they will be down 3% in 2024. Ivy Zellman agrees that new construction will increase and outperform the existing home market. Builders have had more resilient sales. And I think part of that is that they're really offering great value to the consumer by giving mortgage rate buy downs, Zellman said. They're offering incentives and they've got product. And while they're providing that incentive and that could impact margins, they have product where there is incremental demand and there's not a lot of existing inventory. She goes on to say that it's just not clear when the shortage of homes will work itself out particularly as that lock-in effect continues to constrain supply. That being said, she believes housing will continue to be largely unaffordable. So let's get back to Morgan Stanley and see why they think that housing affordability will improve next year. They forecasted three possible outcomes for home prices in 2024, the base case, the bull case, and the bear case. So let's go through them. In the base case, they predicted that home prices will go down 3% in 2024, as previously reported. Here's what they said. We believe that lower mortgage rates will simultaneously spur demand as well as an increased volume of listings. While the first could exert upward pressure on home prices, the latter is a headwind. In our view, the transition off of historic lows from a listings perspective will lead prices down year over year in 2024, despite the increases in transaction volumes that we are forecasting. However, we expect those decreases to be minimal. As we have already mentioned, homeowners remain strong hands. As national home prices start to decrease, we expect inventory increases to moderate to reflect the fact that homeowners do not need to sell. Ultimately, we expect home prices to fall 3% in 2024. Given the trajectory of both the economy and mortgage rates, we would expect 2025 home prices to outperform this 2024 projection, wrote Morgan Stanley analysts. In their bear case, they expect US home prices to fall 8% in 2024. Here's what they said. If rates remain elevated or the economy slips into recession, demand could soften further in 2024. While we do not believe that defaults and foreclosures and thus distressed transactions will increase significantly in this cycle, and especially not in 2024, any increases in supply into a weaker demand environment will likely weigh on prices. Older homeowners, or any capitulation from households that have simply lived in their homes longer than they originally anticipated would likely drive prices down in excess of our forecast. Our bear case for a decline in home prices in 2024 is 8%, wrote Morgan Stanley analysts. And in their bull case, they expect US home prices to go up 5% in 2024. Here's what they said. With so many housing statistics at levels we have rarely seen over the past several decades, it isn't hard to envision housing activity and home prices evolving differently from what we have laid out above. As mortgage rates come down, affordability will remain under substantial pressure. However, 
a consumer that has recently seen mortgage rates above 8% might jump at the chance to lock in 6.5% or 7% mortgages in far greater numbers than we are expecting. If demand increases more than we are expecting into a supply environment that remains constrained, we envision home prices climbing a further 5% next year to a new record high, wrote Morgan Stanley analyst. All legit points in my opinion, but tell me what you guys think. Lambert goes on to recite other housing market analysts who think that home prices will go up in 2024, although modestly. That includes 2024 forecasts by the Mortgage Bankers Association up 4.1%, Fannie Mae up 2.4%, Wells Fargo up 2.5%, Goldman Sachs up 0.6% and the AEI Housing Center up 4%. CoreLogic's forecast model expects U.S. home prices to rise 2.6% from September 2023 to September 2024. The more bearish are Zillow, who projects that national home prices will remain flat next year or go down 0.1% between October of 2023 and October of 2024. Moody's Analytics, who believes that home prices will go down 4.4% between the fourth quarter of 2023 and the fourth quarter of 2024. And Morgan Stanley, who believes that home prices will go down 3% in 2024. As for the latest forecast for the 30-year fixed mortgage rates for 2024, Fannie Mae forecasts 7.1% in Q1, 7% in Q2, 6.9% in Q3, and 6.7% in the fourth quarter. Mortgage Bankers Association forecasts 7.1% in Q1, 6.6% in Q2, 6.3% in Q3, and 6.1% in the fourth quarter. And Goldman Sachs forecasts 7.3% in Q1, 7.2% in Q2, 7.1% in Q3, and 6.8% in Q4. As the latest forecast for the 30-year fixed mortgage rates for 2024, I do believe that if rates get close to 6%, we will see a surge in existing inventory, which could bring prices down if supply outweighs demand. On the other hand, if more buyers enter the market because it's become more affordable, it could make prices go up if demand outweighs supply. So I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. So I threw a lot at you in this video, so I really wanna know what you guys think. What do you think of Morgan Stanley's three possible forecasts? What do you think of Ivy Zellman's thoughts on the market? Put a comment below and let me know what you think. And if you missed last week's video on Zillow's recently downgraded forecast, definitely check that out next. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Bye.